Hi everyone, welcome to my first Halloween tutorial of Halloween 2014. Um, this is the look, I don't really know what to call it, I'm like half of a clown maybe, and half of a dead something something. So please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and if you'd like to see how to achieve this look, please keep watching. Hey, so welcome to my first Halloween tutorial of 2014. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this look, but to start off with the eyes, I want it to kind of look like I'm wearing makeup, um, so as if something happened to me while I was already done up. So for my eyes, I take a NYX Jumbo eye pencil and I put it on the outer half of my eyelid. In, it's in black bean and then I'm taking a dark purple color and putting it on the inner part of my eye and just blending it to the center so that they kind of gradient together and have like a gradient effect towards the center of my eye. Um, I was wanted to use dark shades instead of lighter ones. By the way, as I'm doing my makeup, I put some um, dry shampoo in my hair and also some... Uh, hairspray and put it in a messy bun so that when I take it out I can tease it and run my hair my hands through it and it will be like this really messy kind of look as you saw in the beginning of the video. I'm setting the dark purple with just um, I think it's called Parfait Amour by MAC and then I'm just setting the black with any black eyeshadow just so it's not spreading everywhere um, as I blinked, I didn't want it to transfer up to my eyebrows. And I always complain about how thin my eyebrows are, but I guess for looks like this, it kind of comes in handy because for Halloween tutorials, I'll be having to cover my eyebrows sometimes, and it's pretty easy to cover eyebrows when you have very little hair to cover. Um, under my lashes, I brought a very, very dark blue, um, just to add to some of the smokiness and then I just put a quick small layer of uh, mascara it's just so my eyes look black so like since my eyelids look black I wanted my eye uh, my um, eyelashes to look black as well I took the lightest shade of foundation I have and mixed it with some white face paint and um, then I concealed underneath my eyes with white face paint. So my face was very white. And then I set my whole face with a, like, um, a luminizing powder. So that it, like, gives me some um, coverage, but it gives me some shimmer as well. I'm not sure why I was feeling all this shimmery stuff. And as far as my eyes. So I think it's easier to watch than for me to explain. But... A lot of blending is going to occur, to say the least. Um, there's like these two bones that are the most prominent in your eyes, in your eye socket. And so I outlined them with um, a pencil brush and a very dark um, eyeshadow. I mixed some gray and some black. And I outlined my two most prominent bones. And I also made sure to really deepen that inner socket so that it's like really sunken in and I wanted it to be huge I wanted it to be messy nothing precise so I then take some black and I blend it out with some black I blend it out with some brown I blend it out with some red to make it look bruised and you'll see later I go in with a little bit of green I just continuously and blending it out adding dimension leaving the inner part of my um, under eye blank so that I can add some white under there as I'm doing right now to give it dimension, to make it look like it's bruised all around, but usually when you have a black eye, you don't get a lot of darkness right in the center. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just a lot of blending, a lot of just um, looking and seeing what you think. Like right now, I'm taking more black and outlining it again, the most prominent areas. I wanted it to be um, dark underneath my eye and not as dark on top. So I did a lot of blending underneath, but I'm going to put some scars just with some black eyeshadow on my eyebrow right now. 
Um, I do have to get to a store and get some scar wax and stuff like that. So I'm not using scar wax for this, nor my, um, uh, what is it called? My, like, little wound that I'll be applying later. And then I guess I kind of wanted to go for some sort of clown or circusy thing. I don't know. Maybe this is so something to do with American Horror Story Freak Show. I just wanted something um, kind of creepy, and clowns really freak me out. So I'm doing like the little clown teardrop-esque thing on one eye and the other eye is dead. Not quite sure what this is going to be. And I just drew it with some black liquid liner and now I'm setting it with black eyeshadow. Um, so what I think I would do if I did this again would be my bottom teardrop little triangle thing. I wouldn't put it all the way to my lower lash line. I would maybe start it down by my eye socket, but I mean it turned out okay for a first time trying it kind of thing. And I added a little mole there, why I don't know. And then I start contouring. So here we go. I'm using brown, black, and gray to get a really sunken in cheeks. And then I'm bringing some of it down to really sculpt out those cheeks and make them extremely prominent. As if I'm I don't know, dead or beaten or, I don't know, what to, I don't know, maybe I'm some kind of clown and somebody didn't like clowns and so I became beat, I don't know. And then right under that contour, I'm adding a white um, highlighter so that it's even more prominent. Obviously not adding any blush, not adding, not adding any highlighter or anything like that. And then I sculpt it out even deeper with a brown eyeshadow. Just... With looks like this, it's kind of touch and go. You add a lot and stuff. As far as um, what that line is on my forehead, it's to remind me that I want some fake blood on there. And then I'm taking a really deep red and applying that on my lips and kind of making my um, top lip where my cupid's bow is pointy. Not very rounded as um, I usually do. I'm taking a black eyeliner and dotting stitches where I want my stitches. Um, you need to kind of make sure they're even, but just eyeball it. I knew I wanted my outer ones to kind of connect into my mouth, so I just used a black eyeshadow, I mean a black eyeliner for the stitches, and then I'm going to use black eyeshadow for, um, these little things. I feel like what else would be kind of cool is if you used a gel liner for this, but if you see, so the first four, it's like as if my lips are being pulled in tight by some sort of string or something. I do it on both sides, so it's like they started sewing it, sewing my lips shut somehow, uh, starting from the outer corners in. And so I just do this, and it's just a tedious process. You continue to do it, continue to do it, try to make it as even as you can. And by the time I get all the way to the end, I do go and extend my lip line. So right here I'm extending my lip line a little bit more. I was kind of making it look that they wanted to start sewing my face. I don't know why I say they. I don't know what's going on. But as per usual, I dropped something that made a black line all the way down my white vanity and such and such. And then I just extended the line with um, my stitches again. Really fairly easy. I'm setting my red lips with a red eyeshadow to make it kind of like, um, uh, make sure it doesn't transfer onto the black eyeshadow. And using the fake blood. I wish I had scar wax for this um, scar on the top of my head, but I mean, ultimately it turned out okay. Um, I just wanted some drips and my blood wasn't dripping properly. So if you see, I start I put a lot on my Q-tip and then I tilt my head back and I start letting like it drip down. You'll see that in a second. I just wanted my tears wanted to look like I'm crying and I guess eating 
I ate something. I crying blood. Maybe I'm a zombie. Maybe I'm a clown zombie. Couldn't quite tell you what I am. And that's my finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my first Halloween tutorial of 2014. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave in the comments down below what other Halloween tutorials you'd like to see next. Mwah! Toodaloo!